and fellow Avengers. A terrible injustice has befallen your leader. For the first time ever, Miss Bird has organised a school trip to the House of Horrors. I think it's so we can meet some of her family. But I'm going to get some brilliant ideas for future Avengers. Or I would, if I was allowed to go. Get hurt, get him, get an even ain't a sin Sister Mel and brother will make him take a bit of pills Sir, I'm blue This is all the fall, the storm All of that world, your sandwich is cold Your tea's gone cold, but now you're getting old You know the boy with the camera, he's gonna scam you Harder than a stone, he's just gonna be And why am I the most lonely, left out of everything person in the world? Because my lazy, horrible, couldn't care less parents were too busy to sign the school trip consent form. <laughs> Take what you want, just leave the TV. Mum, can you sign the consent form so I can go on the school trip? Oh. Go away! But, Mum... Nothing, Alistair. Perhaps this will teach you to be a little more organised next time. But, Mum, you have to sign it. This is going to be the best school trip ever. Fine, I'll sign it. Pass me the form. Well, I would if I hadn't lost it. Uh. But don't worry. All you have to do is get up, turn on the computer, type another and print that and sign it. If I get more excited about this trip to the House of Horrors, my heart's going to explode. Me too. They've got skeletons, ghosts, and torture chambers. What will you shut up about all this fun? Can't go, remember? Fear, this home is like the House of Horrors, isn't it? Because the people in it torture your mind all the time, don't they? Yeah, but Dr. Avenger has got a plan to pay them all back. We'll call it... Operation Make the Furies Forget Granny's Birthday. going to say it? What? Oh, you have an animal on your head. <laughs> it's a wig. And I'll have you know, it was made specially for me by the 27th best wig maker in the whole of London. Really shows. <laughs> what do you need a wig for anyway? You have your own hair, haven't you? Wouldn't you just believe it? The strain of looking glamorous for my surprise birthday party made all my hair fall out. But anyway, I think it takes years off me. Yeah, uh, yeah, surprise birthday party. It's certainly a surprise. It's a big surprise. Excuse me for one minute. <laughs> How did this happen? I wrote myself reminders. I put it in my diary. I made sure we wouldn't forget I was organized. Should have written reminders to remind ourselves about the reminders. That's where we went wrong. Shut up, Sean. We have to put together a party in three seconds flat. Now, everybody think. We can slip out the back door and wait till she's asleep. No! Don't be hasty, Sean. This has its merits. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, this is a nice way to spend your birthday. Sitting alone with a very smelly dog for company. <sighs> I am a professional celebrity chef. I can do this. I am a professional celebrity chef. I can do this. I can make a delicious birthday feast from one rotten egg, some mouldy cheese, and a kipper. Right. Which do you think Mum would prefer? Box Williams baby teeth or an egg cup? Baby teeth it is then. Oh, this is impossible. Hi, it's Granny here.